G Dope, happy to have you on the platform, man. Yo, man, happy to be here. Happy to be here. Oh, for real, man. It's an honor. Hey, it's an honor for me to have you on the platform, man. Likewise, bro. You already know. Welcome home, man. Yeah, man. Thank you, man. Thanks, man. It's, it's good to be. It's good to be back. How it feels to be a free man? Ah, oh, man, it feels it feels good, man. I, you know, the air is different on this side. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's 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 it's, it's more wind blowing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Uh, what surprised you since you've been home? I know it got to be a lot of stuff you got to get used to, man. I, I don't know. I would have to say, you know, just you know the 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 technology. You know, is everything is so you know instant. You know, being able to you know do a lot of the stuff on on the phones and you know what I'm saying and just you know being able to you know uh, uh, pay pay for stuff in the store with the phone and the 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 the, the, the mopeds and scooters riding around everywhere. You, you know what I mean? You look, it's, it's ill, man. Yeah, man. The the people the people kind of change, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like the 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 the, the, the also like the, the construction, like how how things look different. Like a lot of this stuff is looking like downtown Chicago now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the buildings is just just high skyscrapers. When I left, a lot of the stuff was, you know, just just warehouses and, you know, empty things. It said for rent, call this number. And like I come back, you got full, fully developed, you know what I mean? Complexes. Like I'm like, wow, man, I, I've been going a minute. You know what I'm saying? So that, I, that I, for the most part, I think I think I I should I could say that's the most surprising that, to me that stuck out. You know what I mean? Since you've been out, what's been the most challenging for you? The most challenging would be probably getting getting learning how to pay for stuff with this Google Pay app. I don't know what the <laughs> I don't know what I got that money in there and I it's just stuck in there, man. I just I don't know how to get it out, how to pay with it. Like it's just. It's probably like my bane right now, man. Yeah, man, a lot done changed. You was locked up for like 13 years, right? Yeah, man, I was in there. I was in there for, yeah, around, yeah, 13 and a half around, something like that. Yes, indeed. So with that being said, let's get right into it, man. For the people who that's not familiar with your story, can you go back to November 19, 1993 and detail the incident that led you to go to prison? Well, well, you know... You know, for those that don't know, you know what I'm saying, what happened, I had I had turned myself in um in two thousand ten for something that that happened, you know, I uh you know, I killed a I killed a man in um two thousand excuse me, in nineteen ninety nine, you know, and um, you know, it had you know, excuse me, nineteen ninety three, you know. And um uh so I uh you know I was out, you know, out at night, you know, I uh doing doing, you know, the wrong thing, you know what I'm saying? Young, just doing what I thought, you know, I I I I was doing. You know what I'm saying? Tried to, you know, rob the guy and you know, things went wrong. The guy got shot, I shot him. You know what I mean? Um and you know, you know, years went by, you know what I mean? I didn't I didn't know what had happened to the guy. And, you know, after, you know, after some years and some introspect, you know, I, I you know, you know, I, I, in order to, you know, to restore balance to my life and, you know, the life of, 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 of someone, you know, someone's family and, 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 you know, things of that, that nature, you know, I, I wanted to, you know, just turn myself in and, and then see actually what happened, you know, you know, and um, you know, I was, you know, willing willing to, you know, put myself on the line if, you know, whether or not he he passed on or not. I just, you know, I needed to get that off of my mind, you know, off of my, you know, off of my heart. So, you know, the spirit moved me to to um, you know, turn myself in. I went to the precinct and I told them, you know, everything that, you know, that happened that night. And um, you know, and they, you know, they 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 find they wind up, you know, saying that you know what I what I what I thought uh, happened. You know, actually did. So, you know, here I am, thirteen years later, man. How was you able to cope with that for all them years? Because it sounds like it was hard for you to live with that burden. I mean, I mean, it was, 
you know, as as I got older, you know, it came it became harder and harder to shake. You know what I mean? You know, so, you know, I, I you know, I just started doing anything I could do to keep my mind off it. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, uh, you know, pl uh, pleasure, drugs. You know what I'm saying? Just just blatant, you know, f you know, f forgetfulness. Like, you know what I mean? But I always, you know, it always you know, came back around to the fact that, you know, I was living a certain life that I felt was, was you know, a blessing, you know? So, you know, me living, you know, my life with my children, my family, you know, for the most part, you know, you know how life, how life will wake you up in the morning and, and show you how beautiful it is, you know? And it was, and it would always, it would always get back to me like, man, you know, this man, you know, he might have had a family. He might have had, uh, you know, a, a children. He might have had, you know what I'm saying? All of the things that I'm, you know, that I'm partaking in. So, you know, it became more and more apparent that I had did something wrong. You know what I mean? Did you confide to anybody about what you did or you kept it to yourself? Nah, I mean, you know, as far as the situation, I mean, I, nobody knew about that per se. You know what I mean? Like, you know, except for, you know, family, I had, you know, told them, you know, a little bit before that, you know, I started really coming to a point where it was feeling like that was what I needed to do. So I confided in a couple of family members, listen, you know, I did something a while ago that, you know, I don't, you know, I, I feel, I feel, I feel a way about, and I, I really need to, you know, bring this to, you know, some closure. I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, maybe turning myself in. What do you, what do you think? You know what I mean? And they were like, you know, they told me what they told me. They gave me their opinions. I really wanted somebody to say, yo, listen, man, that didn't happen. Don't worry about it. You were dreaming. You know what I'm saying? I wanted, you know what I mean? I, the, don't work. You know, what are you saying? I was with you that night. You were, that's not what happened. We were, you know what I mean? It was, you know, but that's not what happened. You know, I knew what happened, you know. So, you know, you know, after a while, you know, I just, like I said, I, you know, nobody knew that I was going to turn myself in. You know what I mean? That night, I just went and did that. Yeah, I know that had to feel good to get that burden off your shoulders. Yeah, it actually, it actually did, man. You know, you know, at that point, you know, you feel, you know, it's like, you know, it's 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 not it's not in your hands anymore. It's all for you. It's you know, it's it was never in my hands. You know, the the it was it was always gonna be what it was gonna be. You know, but at that point, you know, it wasn't it wasn't my burden alone you know, to, 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 to bear, like, you know, it was, it was something that I was going to get, you know, uh, you know, resolved somewhat, so to speak, you know, I still got to deal with what I've done, you know what I mean? But, you know, it's different, it's different now though, you know what I mean? Because, you know, it's, 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 it's not a secret. When you was in prison, did regret cross your mind about turning yourself in? I mean, honestly, I can't say it did. Like, you know, I really, I really felt like, you know, it was like, you know, cause I, I always saw nothing but affirmation for that. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you know, I started, I started getting stronger. I started, you know, getting, you know, more, you know, people, people in my, in my life that, that I was disconnected with. I was getting these connections back. You know what I mean? Um, You know, I was, I was starting to, you know, I, I, I was able to, you know, stop a lot of things that I was doing that was detrimental to my to myself. You know, I stopped smoking, stopped, you know, getting high and all that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I saw that, you know, that that really was, you know what I'm saying, something that I needed to do. So it, you know, it was affirmation to me, man. Things things were just coming to you know, coming in, you know, coming into my life that was 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 was, was just, you know, it was it was undeniable, you know? So, you know, you know, don't get me wrong. Like I had my days, you know what I'm saying? Where it's like, yo, wow, this is, you know, yeah, this, this yeah, I'm, 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 I'm in, I'm in jail. You know what I mean? And like, yo, it's not, it's not, it's not really a game. You know what I mean? But, but it was, but it was always, you know, something that would bring me back and make me realize that, you know, you know, I did, I did, I did the right thing. What advice would you give to people out there that, took somebody's life or whatever, and it's eating them up inside. I mean, 
I mean, bro, like everybody has their own walk, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I couldn't sit here and tell people what, you know, what they should do, you know what I mean? Because, you know, maybe that's not what they believe, you know what I mean? You know, but yeah, but I would say, you know, if you if that's something that you're dealing with, you know, kind of kind of reach inside yourself and ask yourself, what you what what do you what do you feel? How do you feel about it? You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes dudes, you know, maybe or whoever they don't, you know, you, you might not ask yourself, you know, how you you know how you even feel about it. You just you just running from the fact. You know what I'm saying? But why? Why are you running from the fact? Are you running? Are you scared of the law? Who who are you scared of? The cops? You know what I mean? Like what what, what are you really what are you really afraid of? Somebody is gonna you know come after you that you know retaliation? You know what I mean? Or is it something bigger than that? Or is it something is it spiritual? You know what I mean? You know so you you know you don't you have to probably ask yourself that you know. Right, right. Yeah, that's real talk. But you being G Dub, how was that like for you doing thirteen years in prison? How was that experience like? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it te it teaches you a lot of things, man. Being in prison, we talked about that earlier. I was having a a discussion a discussion with one of the um you know one of the uh, counselors, you know, when I come out here, you know, and you know I'm counseled up now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I talk, you know, what I'm saying I talk. I got I got a lot of uh you know. Good people, you know, good people that I talked to, you know, and and we were um and we were talking and we were saying that people, you know, you know, don't realize that you learn, you learn, you know, you get some valuable lessons in jail if you have if you keep your eyes open, you know what I mean? Like you 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 learn you yeah you learn structure, you learn to go from point A to point B, you know, and um, you know, I mean, I you know, I know most some people might have that instilled in them. You know what I mean? But a lot of times I was, you know, walking around with no direction. I would just go outside, like, you know, whatever happens, wherever the wind blew me, I would go. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, jail kind of shows you, okay, if you leave your house, before you leave your house, you know what I'm saying? Where are you going? You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you know, all right, straight, you know, if you in an area, you know, clean up your area, keep your area tidy. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 basic. It's you you basically relearning everything you knew as a child, everything your parents told you. Clean your room. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Straighten up, wash up, brush your teeth, take a shower. You know what I'm saying? So you know, jail kind of like just you know puts it all in perspective. Like you know what I'm saying? Because you know you can't run around jail dirty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Brothers is like, yo, jump in that girl, man. Like, you, you know, jump in that water, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, sanita san san sanita uh, 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 san uh, being sanitary is a is a big is a big is big in, in jail, man. So if you if you were never clean, you you gonna you know what I mean? <laughs> you gonna learn to be you gonna learn a day, yeah. You know, so you know, yeah, it'd be you know. So you know, it does teach you. It does. It does. It does. It does have its you know. Uh, um, um, advantages, you know, you, you learn how to, you know, use your mind, you know what I mean? You know, think, you know, if you read, you know what I mean? You you know, you, you just, it's, it's, it's benefits there, man, you know what I'm saying? You, you just gotta, you just gotta be there, you know, open, be open to uh, take them, you know? Gotta take advantage of the benefits, man. You know, why not? I mean, you already in there. And did, did he reach out to you while you was in prison? Well, he he reached out to me. He reached out to me, you know, inadvertently. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, like, it, like videos and, you know what I mean? Uh, a couple of interviews. I I heard him shout me out. You know what I mean? Yo, yo, shout out to Depp. Hold your head. You know what I mean? But you know that was you know I couldn't expect anything too much from anybody. That's not that's not, you know that wasn't that wasn't what type of time that was, man. You know I I went in there on my own, you know, my own volition, man. So, you know I had to handle that, you know, accordingly, you know. Right. So pretty much the whole time you was in prison, he didn't reach out to you. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah, man. Shout shout out to him, too, man. Yeah. I mean, he going through a lot right now. How you feel about everything he did going through right now? Like his houses getting ready for sex trafficking. How you feel about that? Well, I mean, I, f you know, I feel like, you know, whatever's going on, you know, he, he need, you know, he's, he's going to handle it. However, whatever happens, you know, whatever. Whatever transpires, you know what I mean. I mean, like I said, man, I don't, you know, I don't know, I don't know what happened. I don't, I don't even know what's going on. You know where I was at, you know what I mean. So, you know, I just, I hope, I hope the brother get around it, man.
You know what I mean? Whatever's going on. Yeah, it's a crazy situation with him right now, man. But speaking of Diddy, how did that come about? You getting signed a bad boy? Well, it was it was really it was really through um through Black Rob. Black Rob, it was it was my, it was it was it was actually through my man, Puka Broxy. My man Puka Broxy was real close with Black Rob, you know what I mean? And um he told them, he told them, he said, um, he said, yo, I got this kid, man. I know this kid, man, G Depp, man. He got he got some this my man, you know, listen to his little demo. He got some joints. You know how it is, regular, regular stuff. You know what I mean? It wasn't like, it wasn't you no, know, you know, a formal thing. It was riding around listening to music. You know what I mean? He had my he had my tape, my demo tape. He let Rob, you know, they put they put it, they popped it in. You know, Black Rob fell in love with the joint. This is a joint called Dollar Bell. You know, my, a friend of mine, um, me and my me and my man was was was, you know, we used to shoot, you know, shoot to the studio and make uh uh uh, vid, uh make 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 songs. From time to time, you know what I'm saying? My man Quest, shout out to him. You know, the uh, uh Keith Quest. You know what I'm saying? We used to, you know what I mean, get busy. So he heard that. And he was like, yo, the kid the kid, I'm, I'm loving this kid, man. Yo, like, like where where is he? I need to meet him. And, you know, one thing led to another. He he wound up coming around and and I met him, you know what I'm saying? And then he he told me he wanted me to get on his album. You know what I mean? He was like, yo. I want you to get on the album, man. No, no jokes aside, man. I said, all right, you know, it was just good to meet the brother. You know what I mean? Cause he was an industry cat and and like he was really feeling it. He was really feeling the joints. You know what I'm saying? He was a talk of the town. You know, he's from my he's from the neighborhood. You know what I mean? And and, and he had made it. He was on Bad Boy. Everybody knew, yo, the black Rob kid, man. Yeah, he, he made it. And so, you know, for for somebody like from his caliber to, to be like, yo, yo, I'm feeling you. You know what I'm saying? It was just, that was all I needed. So like when he told me that he was gonna um, uh, uh, call me to get on this album, I was like, bet, whatever, cool. You know what I'm saying? Like it didn't, it didn't really, I didn't really, I, I wasn't even gonna hold it to him. If I would've saw him later, somewhere down the line and he never called me, I still would've, you know, it still would've been love, you know what I'm saying? But he was just, he actually called me and like and like two weeks later, called me, he, you know what I mean? He hit me up, yo, yo, yo Actually, I wasn't in, I wasn't in the house at the time. He called he called the number that I gave him. I gave him a landline number. This we still had landlines, you know what I'm saying? People was really <laughs> using those. You know what I'm saying? And then he was like, yo, um, yo, so my, my nephew comes downstairs, tells me, yo, somebody named um Black Bob, Black, Black, I was like, Black Rob? He was like, Yeah, Black Rob, he called for you. Uh Auntie said, come upstairs. So I come up there. And sure enough, man, she said, yeah, um, Black Rob just called. He said he's going to call back in 15 minutes. So, you know, what's up? So sure enough, he called back. He was like, yo, Depp, yo, Depp, you ready? I'm like, ready for what? He was like, I told you, man, I want you to be on, I want you to be on my album, man. You know what I'm saying? This is how he used to talk. I want you to be on my album, man. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I was like yeah. I was like, no doubt, man. So what's up? What, how, how are we going to do that? And he was like, yo, um. Come down to the studio and you know yada yada man. I got down there, you know what I'm saying. And uh, and um, one of the uh, A and R's was there, you know what I'm saying. Shout to Hall Pierre. We went down to Crazy Cat Studio, um, D dot D dot Studio. We went down there, and um, you know, got in there, did the did the did the darn thing, you know what I'm saying. The uh the 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 A and R was there. Half like I said, he 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 was like. He was going ham the whole time I was in the booth. He was he was like, yeah, keep going. I'm seeing him. I'm reading him, reading his lips. Keep going. I'm like this. Ah, I'm going crazy on the mic. Like, you know, like you go. I'm I'm young. I'm like I'm hungry. I'm like this. Ah. So he like he like he like this. Yeah, go yeah. So I'm like I'm like yeah. I'm like yo. I'm like yo. I'm I'm feeling that man. So you know. I'm like, he he giving me the motivation, so I'm just going in. Da 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 da. And the yo and the, the, something from coming for him, gunning for him. So which, you know, I'm going in. So I get out the booth. And he like, yo, you know, listen to it, man. You know, listen to how that, you know, how you like that, man. So they all, they all left. I'm sitting in there by myself. I'm listening to it. I'm never, I never really heard anything that loud. Cause I, you know, I go to the regular, you know, John, 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 John Jones, he. He he got his studio on, on, on 133, apartment 5E. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was going to studios like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, you get the little monitors, 
you get to hear it, you know what I'm saying? Loud a little bit, but like I said, I was young. I didn't really have a whip to where I could play it in a real loud system. So I never really even heard music that loud. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, yeah, it was crazy, man. So, you know, they played it and it was like sounding real good. So, home, you know, Harv comes back in and he's like, yo, I'm going to talk to you for a minute. Come out. And he asked me, you know, he's like, yo, um, how would you, you know, would you be interested in signing a bad boy? You know? And I was like, I mean, I said, I said, man, yeah, I definitely. How about, I said, yeah, I, I, I would be interested in that. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, so how can we make that happen? You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, we made it happen. We made some phone calls, called my manager. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, the rest is, the rest is what you know, you know? Yeah, I had no idea that Black Rob, he played a big part yeah, of you man. getting assigned to Bad Boy. What was your reaction when he passed away? Yeah, man, that was, that was, that was something, man. When he passed... You know, I cry like a baby, man. I ain't even gonna lie to you. And I and I and I could say I could say that. You know, I had you know I had some people pass pass away that I, that I know, and I don't, you know I ain't I ain't gonna lie. I don't even, I don't remember crying like that, man. It came out, you know, you know, you know more more so. You know, I think I had deaths in my family, like you know my grandmother, my father, things like that. You know. They, 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 the, 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 the impact they had on me. It was, you know, it's, it's, it's something that, you know, those are people that, you know, they, you gradually start really coming to terms with what's going on, and that they're not here. You know what I mean? So I think it was a different, you know, kind of hit. Like it hit, like okay, you know, they're always gonna be, you know, a part of your life because they help, you know, you know, grow you and. You know, you remember them too well. You know what I mean? So, you know, with somebody like Black Rob that, you know, he was he was my comrade. You know what I'm saying? It was like we had we had, you know, a relationship that, you know, that 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 was born out of out of like nothing. Like, you know what I mean? We just we just clicked for no reason. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it was like so it was like when he when he passed. It was like it was it was a it was like abrupt, like you know what I'm saying. It was like like something got snatched, you know what I'm saying. Like you know what I mean, and and it hurt like out like out of nowhere, like wow, like you know what I'm saying. I just and I just I just I just I, I remember looking out the bars, looking out the window. I was I was in the front of a window, so I was you know I I was looking out the bar, you know, just thinking about what I had just heard, and it, and it, and it just came out, man, like like balling, like you know. It was rough though, man. But you know, God, 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 God is with him. You know, I, I feel his presence. You know what I'm saying? And you know, you know, it's 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 unfortunate that I couldn't come out and beat, you know, and, and you know, do it again with my man. But you know, his his heart his heart is with us, man. Whoever he touched, you know what I mean? Yeah, R.I.P. to Black Rob, man. But I want a bad track to you getting signed a bad boy. How was that like when you first signed with Bad Boy? Like how was that experience like? Oh man, it was crazy. <laughs> it was bananas, man. That was that that had to be the wildest time of my life, man. Honestly, you know what I'm saying. That was that was a wild time, man. We was, you know, we was young. You know what I'm saying. You know, we 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 got a lot of we got a lot of responsibility, you know, bestowed upon us. You know, you know. So you know, we, we it was it was a time, man. You know, it was it was something that you know I never forget. You know what I'm saying? It helped. It helped. It, it helped me. Um, you know, you know, understand how important music is. You know, and how powerful it could be. You know, yeah, man. It was. It was definitely. It was definitely a. a you know, a, a pivotal time in my life. You know. Right, right. Why? Why you say it was wild, yo? <laughs> it was wild because that's how we was living, man. It was like you know. It was, it was, you know, we was, we was, we was, we was traveling, you know what I'm saying? We was, we was, we was getting money. We was, um, you know, we was doing everything, you know, uh, 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 I could say anybody would want to do, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? We was living life to the fullest, you know what I'm saying? No, no, no restrictions, no, um, you know, no, no, you know, we didn't have the, the, the issues of, you know, not having, not having, you know what I'm saying? Like. You know, from going from from going from not having to having, 
you know, I don't know about you know anybody else, but it's 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 a big deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's why, you know, I could say it was, you know, it was a wild time. Like, you know, I never I never went in into a dealer. And before that, I never went into a dealer and bought a car. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, just walked out, you know, you know, with a with a with a new car. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I was buying cars off the street. I'll go I walk by and see somebody spray painted the uh, uh, the amount of money, you know, uh, uh, you know, not even spray paint. Remember the thing they used to use on Christmas, the, the that that yeah, that that white whatever that is, that that flaky stuff that they put on on the on the window for two ninety nine Christmas tree, like you know what I'm saying, whatever that whatever that is. I used you know I would I would I would get the phone numbers and buy the hoop things like that, you know what I'm saying. So. You know, for me to be able to walk into a dealer and get that, you know what I mean? Go finance a joint or, or cop it, for, for that matter. You know what I'm saying? Or you know, you know, I, I got, I got, I got, you know, you know, houses and you know what I'm saying? I mean, it was, it was, it was a big deal to me, man. You know what I'm saying? Go, yeah, man, traveling. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was, it was ill. But speaking of that, right? You buying cars and traveling. If you don't mind me asking, the deal that you signed with Diddy was it a good deal? Because I'm sure you be hearing the same thing that everybody else be hearing. Yeah, man. I mean, I hear that all the time, man. Yo, I'm saying, man, I'm saying like that was crazy. Son, they have to do you like that, man. That was crazy. Do me like what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I got it on, man. I had a, I had, a, I had a good deal, man. I mean, I, back, back then, you know what I'm saying? You talking about 1998? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I mean, dudes, dudes had, dudes had a lot of, you know, you know, a perception of what they was hearing. You know, they thought everybody was going through that. You know what I'm saying? But plenty of people had their business correct. You know what I'm saying? Like I was one of them. I had a lawyer. I mean, I was lawyered up. You know, I didn't just sign anything. You know, we took time. We took the time and negotiated the contract. You know what I'm saying? It was, you know, it was a standard contract at first. But we negotiated what we needed. Yo, listen, now nah, let's do this. Nah, we can't have that. All right, how about this? Yeah, we need that. You know what I'm saying? So I, you know, we were straight. You know what I'm saying? Like I tell, I tell dudes all the time, man. You know, you, you, when, when, when they ask me, you know, how they go, how to go about maneuvering in the industry, I tell them, you know, make sure you have your lawyer, and make sure you know, you, 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 you know what I mean? You cross your, you cross your t's and dot your eyes, man, and you won't have to worry about, you know you know, future repercussions, man. So you still get paid for your hit songs that you had on Bad Boy? Yeah, yeah, I get paid off that still, man. I still get them checks, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, it's, that's, 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 that's what I'm saying. You know, get your publishing. You, you, get your, you know, you get your publishing right. You know what I mean? Make sure you sign to a publishing company. You know, register, register your, your, your thing to a publishing company. You know what I mean? And when your songs get played, you get your money, man. You know what I'm saying? If you don't do that, then you know, you you, you know, you don't get your you don't get your money, man. So, you know, handle your business, man. That's all I don't know if you've seen the album Child of the Ghetto on the cover. I got a chain that says H Y B. You know what I'm saying? And that meant handle your business. I don't know if dudes knew that what that was what that was about, but we really believed in that, man. You know what I'm saying? We we had a tight team, man. We had a management team. And we was about ours, man, you know? It wasn't like he was saying, like, like you couldn't negotiate or or or, or take this or, or take it or leave it. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So, wow. Yo, got to ask you. I mean, there's no way I can do an interview with you and not ask you about both of these hits. But how did they come about, yo, special delivery and let's get it? Well, let's get it. Let's get it just came about, man. The dude, the guy, Yogi, he, he's one of the hit men. You know what I'm saying? He um, he 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 oh he told me for a while. He was telling me for a while that he had a beat for me, and he was like, "Yo, I got this joint for you, man. You gotta you gotta get on it. I'm telling you." And then we finally we finally you know was in the in the right space, and we he was at the studio, and he was like, "Yo, um, you know I want you to um, you know I I drive you home. Just leave your car here, and cause you coming back down. You know we was in the studio every day, so it was like, yo." You know, just leave it here. You know what I mean? You know, drive. You know, we I drive you home, and you know, just come down in the morning. You know, pick it up. He gave me a couple of dollars, I think. You know, to pay the the parking thing. He didn't have to do that, but he was like, "Yo, here, take a hundred. You know, so you can take the cab down here tomorrow. You just pay. You know, get your get your car out and all that." So I was like, "All right, cool." So we ride uptown. 
he played a beat. And immediately I'm like, yo, this, this, this is a smoker. Like, I'm like, wow, you know what I mean? You know, you know Joy come on the the uh the uh the Al Green sample. You know what I mean? Yeah, who? You know what I mean? I'm like, whoa, come on, blue, 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 blue. I'm like, oh my goodness. I said, now this is what I'm talking about right here. You know what I mean? So that that had that that had to be one of the most powerful beats that I that I heard since I was signed when I heard that. I was like, yo, you hear this? He was like, yeah, I, I told you. This is what I was trying to tell you. I said, all right, thank you. Take it upstairs. I mean, it was just one of them things that it just it just was like, yo, like, you know what I mean? I went, I went and did my thing. I used to, I used to live in Lenox Terrace at that time. You know, uh, uh, you know, a popular, you know, comp complex in Harlem. So it was one of them, it was, it was it was such a place that, you know, people didn't really come down the steps. You know what I mean? So I could go in the steps and just be there all night. One time I left my my radio, you know what I'm saying? The the, the raps, all that, right there on the steps. And it was there for two days. And I realized, I said, damn, where my radio at? I'm in the crib, like, yo, damn, you see my radio? I'm, they like, nah. I'm like, how could the radio be missing? Like, where's the, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, there's nobody in, in our house. Nobody come, was coming in our house. I'm like, where's the radio? Like, you know what I'm saying? My daughter is like, Eight months old, she she can't. Where's the radio? So I so I go outside, in the in the in the um stairwell, and the radio sitting right there, man. Just like I left it, the the raps right behind it. I think I even had some weed back there, like you know what I'm saying. I'm like, wow, this this. So this is where I was at, you know. I'm sitting in in the um in the stairwell, writing the raps, listening to the beats, and you know it just came about, man, like that. That was just how that came, man. I came about. And actually, I also used to do a thing where I used to tape. What we, you know, like I would throw a beat on it and put the camcorder on, and just and just and just and just, and just go, you know, just wild wild the joint up, you know. So I actually did did that with the beat. I I threw it on. I was like, really, get smack silly, get smack silly, you know what I'm saying? And then I was just kind of just mouthing stuff. And when I went back, I was like, oh, that's kind of hard, like you know what I mean. And then the whole flow, you know what I mean. I was just playing, playing around. You ready? She said, like, "Boom, ready." And then I wasn't really saying nothing, though. You know what I mean? But so I just went back, wrote it, started pinning the flow, and then you know, that's how that went. You know what I mean? And then, you know, special delivery was. It was just one of them things, man. You know, I had this. I had the CD for a while. You know, that's how it was. We had a. We had a pool down there where we used to get beats from, you know what I mean? And one day I had, you know, I got the got the Easy LP, you know what I mean, CD, you know what I mean? And, and they was like, yo, go through those, you know, you know pick pick a couple of joints, tell me what you like. And, you know, I had it for a while. I it took me a minute to even get around to it. And then one day I just like, you know, I popped it in again, went and got some, you know, went and got the charm, you know, got the weed, you know what I mean? I'm sitting at the window. You know, because I, I was living on the first floor at that time. I used to go back and forth from Jersey, the grandma house. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm sitting on the first floor looking out the window, blowing it down. You know what I'm saying? Playing the joint. I had the little stereo right there. And I'm like, yo, this beat. I put it on. It came on. You know, and I'm like, yo, this beat crazy. Like, nobody using this? You know what I'm saying? So I went back. I actually went back to Bad Boy because I had it so long. I went back to Bad Boy and I'm like, I had to ask the, you know, the, one of the A&Rs. I'm like, yo, nobody use this beat? And he was like, nah. He was like, why, you got something to that? I was like, nah, I just wanted to know. So the next, you know, the next day, you know what I mean? I, I went back, started writing it. And, 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 and I, it, just, it just, you know, it just came about, you know what I mean? In, in, the, in the booth, special delivery, like, you know what I'm saying? And then dudes was like, yo, keep that, you know what I mean? And I was like, yeah, all right, cool. And then we filled it in after a while. We had it just saying special delivery for a while, just saying special delivery, special delivery. And then when we got towards the end, mixing and mastering a lot of things, you know, Hall was like, yo, what you gonna do with this song right here? You gonna leave it like this? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he was like, nah, let's add something to that. Like, so I was like, what you, what you got in mind? So he's like, he's like, yo, I'm gonna book a session. You just, you just come through and we gonna figure something out. And you know, that's just how that went. You know what I mean? I, and, and I was with I was with a young lady that day when 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 I came to the session, and and he was like, "Yo, tell her to say this. Yo, I want that. I need that." I'm like, 
I'm like, word, oh, really? Like, he's like, can I have that? I was like, I ain't really see the, see the, you know what I'm saying? The method to his madness. I was like, word? Like, all right. I said, yo, I asked her. I said, you willing to go in there, you know, say that? You know what I'm saying? So she went in there. And that's just, that's just how it came about, man. She, she didn't even, she, you know, just, just oblivious to what was going on. She was like, you know, like what? Like, I was like, yo, could you go in the booth? She was like, where's the booth? <laughs> I was like, yo, right there. Like, you just go in the room and, and you know what I mean? You know, sit, you know, she just wasn't paying attention to that. She thought, you know, we was just going to come chill out vibe and then break out. You know, so, you know, she wound up, you know, getting on the racket, man. Shout to Monifa, man, you know, wherever you at, you know what I'm saying? Not the Monifa y'all thinking about, but shout to her too, you know what I'm saying? But word. Would it be fair to say that um after Big died, you and Mace was keeping Bad Boy alive pretty much? Nah, man, that wouldn't be fair, man, because you, you forgetting Black Rob. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? He had, he had, he had, uh, you know, he had, he had that woe, man, that woe. <laughs> Yo, that whoa was an animal. A straight, ravenous, fangs dripping, rabies having animal. That whoa was crazy. We used to go to the tunnel. He shook it down in the tunnel so hard with that that I don't even I don't even understand it, man. Like, and this was when dudes was like, you know. You know, just you know, we 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 was we was we was in our prime, man. You know what I mean? And he came out, did the woe. I never forget he had the bandana wrapped around his head, like, like, like you know when your tooth is hurting and you put the, you know how they had the old school where you put the bandana like this to hold your jaw. Like he had he had he had his bandana on like that. And came out, yo. Let me put let me tell y'all something, man. I want yo if you if you, you see anything that's what I'm talking about. You talk about people who went wild. It was electric in there that night. And I was like, if you go rock New York like this, he rocking New. You know how hard it is to rock New York, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is they the, critical as hell. Yeah, when it comes this, to that's what I'm saying. This is. I mean, people will let you. You know, people will stand there. And, you know, yes, you like. Okay, yeah, okay, ah, yeah, whatever. I'm talking about people was going crazy. I'm talking about b jumping, throwing water, throwing bottles, bottles of water, cups. Whoa, like I'm talking about. It was crazy. Whoever was there that night to tell you, man. You know what I'm saying? Ask we should we should put we should Google. I mean we should put up we should we should put it up like yo whoever was at the tunnel with Black Rob. You know what I'm saying? And, and they'll tell you, man. Wow. Yeah, I'm bugging yo. Yeah, that wall was a monster, bro. Yeah, I it was a monster, man. That. That's a fact. It's all good. Hey yo, did you know Big? Nah, I didn't get the meat bag. Wow, I didn't get the meat bag, man. Big, he was he was he was different, man. Wow, I I think I seen him in the tunnel though. You know what I'm saying? Dude, dudes told me it was him. I was I keep saying the tunnel cuz I obviously the tunnel the tunnel was ridiculous back then. That was that was that was the that was the club he went to, you know what I'm saying? And and it, you know, I think I remember seeing him though. You ever met Pac and had a run in with Pac? Nah, bro. I I I I've had instances. I had instances when I seen him when they were when they were shooting um uh above the rim. One of the one of the scenes was coming through my neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? I live I live on um I lived at that time I lived in Johnson Project. Um, you know, from 114. That's where I grew up grew up at in Johnson. So it it go Johnson goes from 115th to 112th. And they was coming through. And that was the first time I realized that when people be driving in the movies, that they really don't be driving. You know what I'm saying? Word, cause he came through. You know, they was, they was, it was, um, you know, they was, they was pulling them. They was pulling the car. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I guess, you know, they they had it on like a, like a, like, it was kind of like a wagon type of thing they had going on. Like, and they, and they was pulling it and he was like, you know, sitting in there, you know, he was talking, it was looking like he was driving, but he was, I was like, oh, that's crazy. I didn't know that's how that go. You know what I'm saying? I guess, I guess they got to have their concentration and, and, you know, and it keeps it. I don't know why they do that, but yeah, that was the first time I seen them. And I was like, wow, you know. And then another time he came through the block, he got out and was and, and, and just like walked on the sidewalk while whoever he was with, you know, just just drove right beside him. You know what I mean? I think he was trying to holler at some some a girl. I guess he seen her, he jumped out and was trying to kick it to her. And, you know, whoever he was with was just driving right next to him, like very slow, like, you know what I'm saying? Wherever, you know, at the same pace he was walking. 
And then, he, and then I don't know what he did. He might have changed the number. He jumped back in the whip and, and he sped off. You know what I'm saying? Then I seen him another time in the tunnel one time. You know what I'm saying? Again, there we go with the tunnel. Word. But yeah, that was, that, was the, that was the only couple of times I seen the brother, man. You know what I mean? God, God bless the brothers, man. You know what I mean? God bless their souls, man. Yeah, or I Peter Park and Big. But I want to ask you, when you was locked up, who from Bad Boy was reaching out to you? I mean, man, like, I mean, you know, it's, it wasn't too many of it wasn't too many of us left, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, you know, Black Rob, we was in touch, you know, saying, you know, you know, from time to time, you know, you know, as his, you know, as his health, you know, on uh, uh, Wayne, I, I, I kind of, um, you know, you know, really didn't speak to him that much. You know what I'm saying? But I used to. My man was around him. He used to, you know, send me, you know, videograms, and I used to see him. You know what I mean? You know, but um, you know, Loon, Loon was locked up. You know what I'm saying? During while I was locked up, so you know, when he came home, you know, he shouted the brother out. You know what I'm saying? But that was that was later. Like I was that was probably like maybe two years ago when Loon came home, right? I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, something like that. So I, I really, you know. I really was, I was in touch with, you know, the, the, you know, a lot of the faculty, you know, the, the staff, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, dudes would shout me out from time to time, you know, holler, you know, you know, Coptic, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The, the street team, you know, my man, my man Rome, you know, Sean Prez, and you know what I mean? Dudes, Harv, Pierre, dudes like that, you know what I mean? They stayed in touch for the most part, you know what I mean? But like I said, you know, you know, like, you know, I couldn't expect anything from anybody. You know what I mean? Like, you know, this, 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 that, that's my walk. You know what I mean? I would, that's, you know, so, wow. Yeah, I get it. But speaking of that, right? Speaking of Bad Boy, you had two big hits when you was on Bad Boy. So what happened, man? Like, did you leave Bad Boy or did you get dropped? Well, I didn't, I didn't actually leave Bad Boy, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I kind of got like, you know, I kind of got like, like, I kind of took a leave of absence, laid off. If you will, like you know what I'm saying, because it was like, you know, I was I was wilding, you know, I was doing things that you know, you know, a person, you know, that has a record deal, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know, shouldn't be doing. I wasn't worried about you know my appearances, my um, you know, I was I was you know late, you know, for everything, you know what I'm saying. It was just it was just a whirlwind, like you know what I'm saying. It was it was, you know, you know, I mean. You know, co consciously I knew what I had to do, but you know I wasn't mindful of what I was doing. You know what I mean? And it, and it, and it came to a point of combination where people, you know, just got tired of it. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yo, bro, like when you get yourself together, you know what I mean? Because what are we doing here? We got to remember it's a business, it's a music business. It's music, you know what I'm saying? So like you know, people, you know, had you know had tried to get through to me, you know, from from the from the moment you know it became to be apparent that i was you know spiraling out of control you know what i'm saying so at a certain point you know brothers was like yo look man like you know if you don't get yourself together man you gotta fall back like you know you, you're making it look crazy like you know what i'm saying we we trying to do something and you doing something else you know what i'm saying like it you know so you know i mean it's not my label i can't i can't be like yo this is what i'm doing and that's it like you know what i mean like you know until until you know you know, you know, if I'm, you know, it just, it just, you know, it just don't, it don't work like that. You know what I mean? Even if you selling a million records, you know what I mean? If if people, you know, if you're not, if you're not, if you're not in line with what, you know, people is going on, what's going on, it's just going to be a problem, you know? So that's what happened with me. You know what I mean? But it was one of them things where, you know, I always, you know, even when I, you know, started, you know, putting out my own music, so to speak, you know what I'm saying? I, I was like, you know, I always, you know, still was, you know, still connected with the brothers, you know, here and there, you know. But I just had, I just had, I, f I had to figure, that's when the internet first started, you know, breaking to where dudes can actually, you know, you know, kind of, you know, not manipulate, but kind of dictate how their music was being serviced. And you had that piff and you were able to put stuff together you know, and just put it out, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, kind of, it was kind it could be kind of lucrative, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, putting mixtapes together, selling them yourself, you know, put, you know, so, you know, so I was, you know, that was what I was doing, you know what I mean? You know, after a while, you know, and, and by the time, you know, I wound up getting another, another deal, you know, with a, with an independent label later on, almost, 
you know, almost five or 10 years, excuse me, about five years after I had got, you know, started splitting, you know, I kind of parted ways from what I was doing with Bad Boy, you know, exclusively, you know what I mean? I, I kind of started, you know, I had, I got a deal with um, uh, this, this, uh, these, these people called Famous, Famous Records, and, you know, they were distributed by Universal, and, you know, I, you know, I was dealing with that, you know what I mean? So, you know, things, things, you know, progressed into, you know, what they are now, like, as far as, like, how you, you could get money, you know, and, and, and just run a business, you know, with music on the internet, you know? So we were, we were doing that, we were doing that, but, you know, at the, at the time when I turned myself in. So, you know, that's why I'm still kind of, a, you know, a, a, abreast to, a, to how things were kind of, you know, moving, you know what I mean, so to speak, like, you know what I'm saying? It, it's not, it's not really that much of a shell shock to me to, to see how things are as far as like, you know, on the, on the internet and all that stuff. Right, right. So pretty much you was dropped from Bad Boy. Um, I basically was dropped though. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't, I wasn't recording with Bad Boy. You know what I mean? I would come around and like do like a verse. You know what I mean? If 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 Puff needed something, you know what I mean? If, you know, I will. He will write yo yo cause yo write this. Yo, I'm, I'm gonna need something. You know what I mean? See if you could put that together. You know what I'm saying? You know, it was one of them things. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't. It wasn't like I was putting out music, though. You know what I mean? No, nah, I think that's um very honorable, man. I mean, you're an honorable guy, man. Since I've been doing this interview with you, because most people in that situation, they'll make excuses or blame. You know, the easy person to blame is Diddy because everybody oh, blaming uh, for stuff. But yeah, I mean, that's dope, man. For I you mean, to be like, yo, I did this or I did that, you know. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, man. I mean, it's real, man. I mean, you, you know, you can't, you can't, you can't run around. I, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't really subscribe to that, though. You know what I mean, like, you can't, you can't. You gotta look at you got you gotta look at what's really going on, you know. A lot of times, you know, I don't know, I don't know if that's something that I developed, and you know, I don't know when that developed. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the truth is, you know, the truth, the truth is just important, like you know what I mean. At some point in my life, I realized that, you know, truth is just, you know, and genuineness is important, and that and that and that and that kind of, you know, trickles out into you know, anything you really can do. Like, you know, be be truthful. Why do you think you got dropped? You know what I'm saying? It's all about truth. Like, you know what I'm saying? Why do you think, come on, honestly. You know what I mean? Don't fool yourself. You ain't, you're only lying to yourself. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's real talk, man. But I want to go back to some comments you made, right? Because I was checking out some of your old interviews before we did this interview. And you made a comment in one of your interviews that, you know, once you got the bad boy, you could tell that they didn't want Biggie Delph to die in vain. Can you go more into detail about that? Well, you can tell, you can tell that, you know, big, big, I mean, we all was there. We all were there. We had, if you had, a, if you were a certain age, you were there. You know what I mean? He impacted the game so, so, it's such, it's such an ill way that, you know, you, when he passed, you can tell that they were like, yo, it, it can't be nothing but hits coming out of here. Like, you know what I mean? It can't be nothing but, you know, it was a certain caliber of music that was was expected. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like like you couldn't you couldn't just make something and like think it was just gonna fly just because you you know you said some words on the mic. You know what I mean? Like dudes was dudes was trying to make songs, good, good joints. You know what I mean? So a lot of stuff filtered out because it was like, you know, it wasn't really you know, it wasn't hitting, you know what I mean? It wasn't hitting in New York, yeah? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you got, you had to, you had to come, you had to come with your A game, man, especially at that time. When I got there, it's, you know what I mean? It, it was like, yo, okay, okay, what you got? You know? And if it wasn't up to par, you know, it would just be like, all right, well, you know, what else you got? You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And you also made a comment in one of your interviews where you said that you were shell-shocked when you went on tour with Bad Boy. Oh, word, I said that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you said that before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah, because it was crazy, B. Like, like, bro, like, like, yo, bro, like the 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 fanfare and the response and the the the, the way people embraced, you know, people, man, you know, I would have to say Diddy, you know what I mean? Like, you know, the the whole bad boy movement, oh, oh, I could I could say. 
You know what I mean? Was 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 phenomenal, man. We used to be on stage in front of. It looked like sometimes we was on stage in front of seventy thousand. Sometimes, like I remember when we went to when we went to. Um, I think we were in Washington one time, and we were in the, we were in whatever whatever football. I'm, 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 you know, I think the Redskins. We we were in the, in the, in the. Uh, is that are they still called the Redskins? I don't want to. I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Still, I'm saying I, we the, the the watch that we was in. We was in the um, <laughs> we were in the we were in the oh uh, the 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 uh the stadium, and you know I I I'll never forget that Michael Jackson was there. First time I I mean I was first and only time I ever seen him live. You know in person. Like, you know what I'm saying? He he was he was backstage, and it was a concert for something. I forgot what it was for. But it was a bunch of people there that day. But 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 Diddy had the uh, you know, he had a he had a set. You know what I mean? And I was I was doing the um, the hype man. You know what I mean? It's, it's, you know that's just how it ended up. Yo, Deb, take this mic and you know you know the words. Just get out here. I'm gonna do everything. Just stand back there and just say the words. Like you know what I mean? Well, wherever you feel like I should, you should ad lib, ad lib. Like you know what I mean? One of them things. You know what I'm saying? So I had the mic. I'm just, you know, yeah. I'm just, you know, all about the Benjamins. I, you know, but like a ooh for the months. Like I'm just ad living. Like you know what I mean? And he's, but he's, but he's on stage. He's waving the American flag. This in front of the in front of the joint. I forgot what song was playing. He's going like this, waving. The, I'm talking about. We was in front. We had. I'm. I, and I and I actually took a minute to take that in. I looked. And I'm talking about it had to be about 70,000, 80,000 people out there. I'm talking about, because you know you know how a stadium is. You got the whole, like, you know, you got the stands. And then since it's a concert, you got the whole field. So everything is just jam-packed. Like, the whole thing is just, like, like, like bananas. Like, you know what I'm saying? And another time, we were in, we were in, um, in, in Kingston. And I don't know, I don't know what's the name of this place, but it's a place you go, you go down the hill, you go down into a valley, and it's only one way in, and only one way up. You know what I mean? So you got to go around this like, like a ravine, like all the way down. It's like a spiral, goes all the way down to the center, boom, and then you go in, and then you go out, and then it opens up to this big field. Like I'm talking about, like you, like I'm talking about, like I can't even. Maybe a football field or two length, and the whole thing was filled. Like, like I'm like, where did these people even come from? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is an island. Like, this looked like everybody on the island was there. Like, nobody. You like, you could go to people's houses at that point, and no one would be home. Damn. That's what it, that's what it looked like. Word. And and I'm like, the, and it, it was it was amazing. You know what I'm saying? So, I just say, man, you know. That's why I said that, man, because it was it was just it was just it was just it was different, man. It was it was like something that I never really, you know, you could only imagine or, or see on TV, and, you know, and you know, and on, and on TV, you, you probably would think that it was, you know, you know, you know, like not real, like you know what I'm saying? But yeah, because I mean, people weren't really taping concerts back then. Like you gotta you gotta remember, this is like '99, 2000. You know what I mean? So like the camera era wasn't really, you know, people still had camcorders, but you wouldn't like see that all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you know, f footage of, you know, concerts and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, whereas now you'll see it and, you know, you'll see it all the time. Like, oh, wow, yeah, it was crazy, yeah. So, you know, I never really seen that, you know, like that. You know what I mean? To, to see that was like, wow. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't know this is real. Like, people really rock. In front of a hundred thousand people, like, you know what I'm saying? It was crazy. Yeah, man, that was crazy, man. Damn, yeah, that was wild, man. It looked like y'all had a time of y'all life, man. Um, shout out to um Diddy, man. I hope he um gets through everything he's going through right now, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, can't wish that on nobody, man. Nah, nah, they only his ass right now, man. Hopefully, he can make it through it, man. Right. What you got popping right now, man? What you got going on, man? Man, I'm, I ain't gonna lie. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just like you know happy to be here, man. I'm, I'm enjoying, the, I'm enjoying the ride. You know, I just got, you know, I'm breathing. I'm, I'm breathing the air on this side. It's, it's, it's wonderful. You know what I mean? I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm taking it slow. I'm, you know what I mean? I'm, um, 
you know, I got, I got, I got, we, we planning on putting some music out. We, we, we just, um, you know, um, um, uh, 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 been in the studio a couple of times. So, you know, you know, if you check the gram, you know what I mean? You know, um, um, oh yeah, by the way, you know what I'm saying? g Deb official, you know what I mean? Go, go check that. You can see a lot of the stuff we've been doing. You know what I mean? I mean, I got a book, a book coming out, you know what I'm saying? Um, in a couple of months, you know what I'm saying? So be on the lookout for that. We, we're not even gonna reveal the name of the joint right now. You know what I mean? But it's definitely coming, you know, so look forward to that, you know, you know, we, we looking at maybe putting some type of, you know, type of movie effort together, you know what I mean? But, you know, you know, but the, but the music, you know what I'm saying? You know, you could check out the joint right now, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You could go, you could go on, 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 on iTunes or, or, or wherever, you know what I mean? You, you know, your favorite, your favorite outlet. You know what I'm saying? And check that. You know, we got a we got a we got an album that we did over the phone. You know what I'm saying? While I was locked up, called Influ called Influential. I don't know if you know about that. Oh, you heard about that? I ain't hear about that, man. I gotta check that out, yeah. Yeah, man. We got the joint out. You know what I mean? It's called Influential, man. It's all it's all over the phone joints. You know what I'm saying? But it got a nice vibe. It, it it's kind of chronicalized, chronicled. You know my time. You know the 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 whole last year. You know what I mean? Basically, this in this year, you know, the clemency, obviously, you know what I mean, happened. You know what I mean? So, yeah, so, you know, you know, it's it's just something that, you know, something that, you know, it's a landmark, man, for me, you know what I mean? And, um, yeah, man, it's out, it's out, it's out now, man. So that's what we got going on. We're looking forward to putting out some, you know, album soon. So, you know, be on the lookout for that. Word up, shout the, you know, the whole, the whole, the whole movement, man. I'm looking forward to that, man. I can't wait to hear the music, man. Appreciate you, man. You know, well, we we hopefully, you know, now that we, you know, we 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 on touch bases, man. You know, I send you, I send you, I send you those exclusives. You know how that go, man. Oh, you, you know already know. Yeah, man. You know, you can check them out. Like, you know, like I said, man. You go to any of the, any of the, any any of the platforms, man. And, you know, you go over if you check the IG, you you know, you can see what we doing and all of that. You know. G Dup, man, it's the only to have you on the platform, man. Words can explain how much I appreciate you wow. taking time out your day to come out here, man. And um, thanks for having me, you know, man. give me an interview, man. It's, pleasure is mine, bro. You already know, man. It's good to be able to talk to, you know, what I'm saying a good, a good, a good, a good outlet and a good, a good brother like yourself, man. A, a you know, a positive brother like yourself, man. You know what I mean? Because I could, you know, you know, I talk, I talk to a lot of people, you know. And, and you know the vibe the vibe with you is the vibe with you is great man and i appreciate that